This is where I'm from, this is where it started This is what becomes of the broken hearted This is going now to Hey Bojo, me man da nishnabim da nongwa Nien, it's going to be indigenous in Kaz, we're going to them Ma wa sak sing and don jaba Nongwa, nui jaga na shim Mien wa Na hao, na hao me ma ba ni ji, ni ji ke, ni ji ke, ni ji ke. Jesus, jin kaza. Jesus, jin kaza. Now, ani Jesus, ani shna ge gi. Ani shna, ani shna ge gi. Ani shna, ani shna ge gi. That's something you can say to your friend, someone you know, you see them on the street. Anishna, mage anishna gegin. It means like, what's up? How are you? What's going on? What you up to? Things like that. It's a real casual kind of greeting. Anishna, anishna. So me as a kid, yon. Anishna, Jesus. Anishna. There you go. Anishna. Something you can say to your friend when you see them. It's a real casual sort of thing. What's up? What's going on? That sort of thing. Now, 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 something else you can say to your friends is, "What are you up to? What are you doing?" In English, we say, "What are you doing?" And in the Shnabe Moin, there's a few ways to say this because we don't use the word "do" the same way. So you could say things like, "Anishe jitchgein," "Anishe jitchgein." Hey Jesus, Anish Nokian. Anish Nankian. Anish Nankian. And these all mean doing things, but they have different implications. It also varies by dialect too. Jitchke um, means to like do something. Nuki means to work. So when you ask someone, Anish Nankian, that's like, what are you up to? What are you working on? That sort of thing, and there's also Anish and Nunkian, and that's kind of like I think more refers to the way you're acting, sort of thing. So there's no easy, simple translation to say what are you doing in the Shnabe one, and also the meanings of these words can kind of vary a little bit by dialect. So just be aware of that. But whatever, just use whatever you like, throw it out there, and if it sounds funny. It sounds funny, and you'll have a good time. So this is what I'd ask Jesus. Anisha Jitchkin, Jesus. Anisha Jitchkin, what are you doing? What are you up to? Magi dash Hitchke Jesus. Jomanab okay. Jomanab okay. Netta Jomanab okay. Uh oh. Jesus. Kendan Jomanab. Jomanan, nashke. Me, me Jomanan, Jomanan. Now, Jomanabo dash, Jomanabo. You might recognize the abo part, refers to the liquid or water of a certain thing. So Jomanabo, you might have guessed it, is wine. Nita Jomanabo k o, Jesus. He's good at making wine. So Jomanabo is wine. Jomanabo K would mean to make wine. That K ending has to do with uh, making something or kind of like doing something like that. Jomanabo K, making wine. Mimaba nista Jomanabo K. He's good at making wine. Maba Jesus. Now, how? Now, something else you might want to ask your friend when you see them on the street is, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you off to? And in the Schnabim one, there's quite a few ways to ask where. Where. There's like, on de. They say that out west and up north, on de. Mage apish. Apish can mean where. Or abish. Uh, me, myself, I take after my grandma. I learned. A lot from her, and she says Anish Ma, Anish Ma, 
that can mean where as well. It confused me when I was first trying to learn, but whatever. Anishma. But gingo, you use whatever you want. No matter how all these different ways of saying things work, you're going to be understood all over uh, Anishinaabe, a king, all over Ojibwe country. Now, so you can ask your friend, Anishma Eja Yin. Eja Yin. Ja, you know, Ja. Eja Yin would be um, where you are going. Eja Yin, where you're going right now. So, Anishma Eja Yin. Mage Ande Eja Yin. Mage Apiche Eja Yin. Ginigo. So, that's how you ask, where are you going? Ande Eja Yin. Anishma Eja Yin. Apiche Eja Yin. That's when you're talking to one person. If you're talking to uh, multiple people, you would say, Anishma Eja Yeg. Anishma Eja Yeg. Nigaj again Shish. So that means where are you going now? And if you want to ask someone where did you go, you would say Apish Gajayan. Mage Anishma Gajayin. Ande Gajayin. And that's past tense. That means where did you go? Now? Now? Miigwech was in the bag. Aho, minwa nui jaganashim. Even though I've spoken English pretty much the whole time today, but whatever. So the word we did on Friday, if you tuned in to the radio show, was Gujin na Gwiju Gwiwiju non gnog shig. How minwa kidan Guje Guje na Gwiwiju non gnog shig. Guje na Gwiwiju non gnog shig. And that means do you want to go out with me tonight? Do you want to go somewhere with me tonight? Guje na Gwiwiju. Nongwanog shig. Just to break it down a bit, guje or ingoje, as it's pronounced in other places, means out or somewhere, something like that. So goje na, goje na. As you know, na makes a statement into a question, a yes or no question. Goje na, gwi we ju. So we ju, as you know, means to go with someone. And when you say gwi we ju, that means you're gonna go with me. Gwi ju, gwi ju means you're going with me. Gwi we ju would mean you're gonna go with me. And then at the end here, nongwa nog shig. Nog shig is uh, in the evening. Nongwa means today or now. So nongwa nog shig means like this evening. Put it all together. Gwi na gwi we ju nongwa nog shig. That means are you going to go out with me tonight, or do you want to go out with me tonight? Good phrase to know on a Friday, or Saturday, or any day of the week for that matter, I guess. Good jay na gui wi ju, non gu nog shig. Ow, mi sa iu, mi guetch gana wab ni meg, mi shnab em da non gua. Let's go in out to those departed from a life so young it was barely started. It's going out to the mama's crying cause the son's gone home with